Hello there and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia and today I'm sharing with you three different lunchbox ideas that you could serve to your kids. These are great. They're easy to make, so let's get right into it. The first lunchbox I'm gonna be making are some wraps. Now these are just one of our go-to meals. My kids really enjoy them. It's something different than offering a sandwich and I'm just gonna be using regular to flour tortillas that I pick up from Costco. I pick up a big two pack of them and then I'll keep one of the packages in my fridge and then the other in the freezer because tortillas freeze really, really great. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing in some chips, some leftover kettle chips that I had from my Costco haul along with a variety of fruits. I had some plums strawberries I think some blueberries in there using whatever we have and I'm also using some cocktail cucumbers in here you guys have sold me on the cocktail cucumbers so now I get both the cocktail cucumbers and the English cucumbers because we do go through cucumbers quite quickly with just all the snacks and the lunch boxes going on and I'm also gonna be throwing in my homemade banana chocolate chip muffin top these are so good. Super easy to make if you have leftover bananas that are turning brown, you don't know what to do with them. Use these really simple ingredients, you guys. I will link all my recipes that I use for the, these lunch boxes, by the way, in the description box if you are interested. But those desserts are great. They're really freezer friendly too. So for the wraps, I just lightly warmed them up on the stove top. I just gave them like five seconds on each side, really quick just to make them more pliable. And I'm gonna be using some mustard today. I use it usually a variety. My kids really enjoy a variety of condiments, which is great, but they like mayo or brown mustard. Use whatever you have. And then I'm using some ham. Of course, I get my ham from to Costco whenever I go to Costco or usually turkey. Usually we've been like kind of in a turkey kick right now so that's what we've been using. And then I will take a slice of cheese and I will kind of cut that in half and then place them lengthwise in the wrap so that they fit really nicely. And then I use whatever vegetables I have. So I am gonna include some spinach and then I have a leftover avocado that was in my fridge that needed to be used. So I use that in their wraps. And by the way, this video was filmed over the course of like several weeks only because I wasn't sure if you guys don't mind seeing like the mundane type of lunch boxes because I try to make a variety of different foods for them, but I know that they also love their favorite foods so let me know if you guys don't mind seeing like just the same stuff that I've used before that would really be helpful to me for future lunchbox videos also in my next lunchbox video what I'm going to do is I get a lot of questions about the serving size portions um, that are in these lunchbox containers because it's kind of doesn't come across clear on video they look like massive amounts of portions, but I promise you they are not. So I think in my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how much chips um, I put into those little compartments right there. And I'll place them into a sandwich bag just to give you a reference and an idea of how little these actually are. Again, they look really big and I do put a lot of food in here, but my fifth grader and my second grader eat literally everything and what they don't eat usually will come home and then they will snack on that before dinner. Usually what is left over is generally chips to be honest with you. So that's why they're able to eat them um, whenever they get home. Everything else is usually gone. For our next lunchbox meal, I'm bringing out the thermoses for some hot food. My boys loved it. This was homemade bean and rice burritos. I had made some chipotle bowls the night before and I'd made some Instant Pot refried beans. Now I usually don't make refried beans only because my husband can't really have them and I always forget to make them or buy them at the store. So it's not really something like a staple in our house anymore. But now I think I will only do to how much my boys really liked it. I feel bad. So now I'm gonna be making refried beans in the Instant Pot from now on just because it's super easy. So that's what I'm gonna be making for them. And I am gonna warm up their burritos in the air fryer too. So the other accompaniments to their burritos, I have some Cape Cod sea salt chips, really good from Costco. Some leftover grapes, we're getting to the bottom of the grapes here, along with a little salad. I'm just doing, I'm trying to switch it up. I, I know they love cucumbers, but I'm giving them some spinach, some tomatoes, slices and some cucumber slices in there. And for their dessert, I'm having them split a Panera Bread copycat lemon drop 
cookie that I made, oh, they're so divine. If you guys have ever had those cookies, you know they are so good. I made them the exact same size, so that's why they're splitting a cookie. They're about like five inches big, so they're really big. They don't need a whole cookie for their dessert, but that's what I'm including in here. And by the way, I do have a kid's dessert lunchbox video. I prefer to make my own desserts for my kids for their lunch boxes whenever possible, trying to stay away from like the processed food whenever I can. I mean, I will occasionally buy like Oreos or whatever, but buying the homemade, doing homemade stuff is just so much better, way easier, cheaper, and plus they're all freezer friendly. So I can just pull out whatever baked good I'm needing for their lunch box and place it in there. So up in the right hand corner, I will include that video along with any other relevant videos that would be really helpful for you guys too. So for the rice and beans, I did warm them up in the microwave and then I am placing it into the tortillas and I'm gonna roll them up. And they're gonna go into my air fryer at 350 degrees for about five minutes and I am gonna flip them halfway. And I didn't like spray them with any type of cooking spray or anything. I wanted them to have like a nice crispy outer shell basically just so that they didn't get too soggy. And plus I am going to wipe down the inside of those thermoses. So I do put all of the boiling water into a separate container because I can use that water for something later, like to either water my plants or give it to my pug or just stick it back into a pot, like if I'm gonna make some pasta later that night. I don't generally like to waste water, so that's what I'm doing with that. And then definitely give those thermoses a good quick wipe down just so that there's no water left in there. And then those burritos, they, they fit perfectly right inside there. And leftovers, you guys truly do make the best kids lunchbox meal ideas. Right now would be a great time just to introduce myself to those that are new to my channel. My name is Alicia. We are a family of five. I have two boys that are in fifth grade and second grade and a daughter who is three who's in preschool. So her lunches are fairly different from theirs but I do know that eventually she will get to this level of lunches. But on my channel, you can find a bunch of other lunchbox videos. I do a bunch of grocery hauls. I love to bake, I love to cook, and I love sharing recipes with you guys. So I hope you subscribe and stick around because I would love to get to know you. lunchbox meal i am going to the tried and true frozen chicken nuggets but these chicken nuggets are from aldi and aldi has finally opened up in our area and i am super stoked on that i've been twice already and we are loving the products loving the prices there too great prices so that is what i'm going to be making i'm going to be reusing those thermoses again and i am going to be using my air fryer to heat up the chicken nuggets it is the fastest way to do it my air fryer now has a permanent spot on my countertops, which is telling you something because not even my KitchenAid mixer is on my countertop. So I absolutely love using my air fryer every, pretty much every single day. So going into their lunch boxes, they're going to be splitting an orange and then I'm eventually going to throw in some blueberries later. And I'm using the last of the cocktail cucumbers, I'm going to throw those guys in there. And I'm going to be giving them some knockoff goldfish crackers, which are turtles. <laughs> uh, they're some of the some of my kids will enjoy them the other ones don't so this was kind of like a hit and miss product but we're using them up and I'm probably not going to buy them again but that's okay and then I'm also going to be throwing in this is so I mean like so good everyone in my family loves this my family loves receiving it when I give it to them this is chocolate buttermilk Texas she cake oh it is phenomenal and it makes a really large portion so if you're looking to serve this for like a birthday or a family gathering or a potluck or something this is it for sure again that will be linked down below and i'm going to use these little condiment cups right here they don't have them anymore but i'll find something comparable to these but for the condiments i'm going to be throwing in some ketchup because they occasionally like to dip their chicken nuggets in some ketchup so i'll be doing that for them sometimes i will make them a honey mustard just like mix in literally just honey and mustard together and they enjoy that too. But I asked them what they wanted, they both said ketchup. So a quick note about the thermoses. I've been asked this before, does the hot meals actually stay hot in the thermoses? And I had assumed yes, and I would always say yes, but I honestly didn't know for sure. 
However, I am here to tell you that they do stay hot. And the reason I know that is because I had to go pick my son up from school recently, um, right after lunch actually, because he had gotten hurt and so he needed to come home. And when I was cleaning out his backpack, I removed his lunchbox and the thermos. There was like one piece of food left in there. I can't remember what it was, but it was still warm. And so this was like nearing noon. So there you go. They will definitely still keep your food warm until lunchtime. And guys, that is it for this lunchbox video. How did you like it? Let me know if your kids would enjoy any of these meals. And thank you guys just so much for watching and for supporting me and my channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye friends.